Ag Sports Academy. Today we want to talk a little bit about what we call a negative spiral or a negative throwing spiral. As guys go through the winter, December, January, guys do a lot of their throwing and a lot of the arguments made, oh, we can't throw inside. So a lot of teams, a lot of organizations, a lot of players, they do a little bit of throwing, but I can only throw when it's nice and warm or you know it's warm enough for me to throw or get outside and play long toss. One of the things that we're avid about here at Titans is that we, uh, we have our inside throwing program, two pound, one pound, uh, tennis balls, baseballs, and we do throwing regardless whether we're inside or outside. Each day when our teams come inside, they should be able to do about 100, 120 throws, and with our program, knock that out in about 20 minutes. But what happens as uh, with a typical throwing spiral, as you go through the spring, especially coming out of spring break, which we just did the last couple weeks, is that you have that weekend before spring break, they may or may not play, then you're gonna have spring break, let's face it, everybody goes out of town. Then they get back in town and you don't play on the back end of spring break. So basically that player has gone about two and a half weeks with maybe throwing very, very little one to two days. So now we're getting back into full go of tournaments. You got a tournament last weekend, you'll have a tournament the following weekend. And so what will happen is that player went from throwing a lot, probably getting his arm in shape, now he takes 10, 15 days off per se. Now he's gonna jump right back in and throwing and this is where that negative spiral happens through the spring. So last weekend he played Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, arm sore. Tuesday they come into practice. Hey guys, I know we had that layoff. Everybody's arms really, really sore easy on our arms. Thursday we have practice. Wednesday, Thursday we have practice. Maybe it's inside or outside. Hey guys, we got a tournament this weekend. Everybody's arms feeling a little better. Easy on your arms. So now we play this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What's going to happen on Monday? They're going to be sore. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, same exact thing. Light throwing, light throwing. So what ends up happening is you start to get a negative spiral because each week their arm is sore. And instead of rehabbing, prehabbing for the next weekend, they take the week off. So you end up having 12 year old, 9, 10, 11, 12 year old weekend warriors where they throw as hard as they can, take five days off. Throw as hard as you can, five days off. That's never gonna be a place where they can increase arm strength. It's never gonna be a place where they can actually get healthy and get the muscle fibers in, in shape and strong enough to be able to handle that workload, and more likely they're also going to put themselves in a situation because they're not throwing enough, not throwing too much, but actually not throwing enough where you start to get elbow, shoulder, and uh, post uh, posterior, anterior rotator cuff issues because they're not throwing as much, so in turn they start to change their delivery so that it doesn't hurt, which in turn puts stress on another part of the shoulder or elbow. So just a thought, guys. As you're going into the spring, I know that your arms are gonna be sore, it's part of the deal. What I tell my guys, if you come in and we'd, we'd rate everything as zero to 10, because players are shown or basically taught to lie. Because if I ask a kid, how's your arm feel? Feels good, feels great, because he knows if he doesn't say it feels good or great, he's coming out of the game. So what we do is put everybody on a number, zero to 10. 10 means I can throw the ball a million miles an hour, zero means it's hurt, I need surgery right now. And it gives me a gauge as to what that number is. So if a guy comes in on Monday or Tuesday after we played a week as a coach, man, I'm sore. Where do you soar? Yeah, it's kind of all over. What's your number? Uh, I'm probably a seven or eight. I feel good, but man, I'm still a little sore. So what we have is we have that guy go out and he plays catch for 20 minutes. 20 minutes continuously. He never throws the ball further than he feels comfortable doing. Secondly is he never throws the ball uh, harder than it feels good to do so. Usually after those first 20 minutes, guys are starting to kind of get that lactic acid, flush the body, flush that arm out. Next thing you know, the arm's fine. That is an example of how we stay out of the negative spiral by throwing more, not throwing less. I didn't say throw 100%, throwing with good form, throwing more so they're prepared for the weekends, and now you create a positive spiral instead of a negative spiral.